probably shouldn't do that. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Um, I brought a whole bunch of new stuff uh, that I've never tried before and I thought I'd try it on camera because I'm bored as hell. Some of this, one of these things is actually brand new so it'll be like pretty cool, I think. Yeah, so let's begin. So the stuff that I'll be trying out today is the Ordinary Foundation, the coverage foundation. I got one of the lighter shades which was uh, 10P and it looks like it's going to be too dark for me so I'm a little bit scared about that. The other one that I got is the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I've heard so many good things about this so of course I had to try it. Uh, the rest of what I got is the Kim Chi um, Beauty line. So I got a sponge because I can never have enough sponges got the white concealer because I've been looking for a good white concealer so I'm really hoping that this one's good. I got the lip gloss slash plumper in shade Manhattan. Uh, never have too many good clear glosses. And the other one that I got is the brand new Kim Chi Chic Mango Tango uh, eyeshadow which I'm super excited to try because the colors in the photos look beautiful so let's do that so i'm going to start off with the moisturizer that i use before every single foundation that i put on which is the clinique moisture surge it just helps give it a bit of a smoother base so we're going to start with our first product which will be the primer and i've heard it's very similar to the tatcha one which i do own so i will be comparing the two but this one for the price like it sounds like it would be amazing. So let's give it a shot. I may have got a bit too much, but let's go with it. So it doesn't quite smell the same, but I didn't really expect it to smell the same. The texture is a little bit more wet feeling than the Tatcha one, which is a bit more solid. I don't know how to explain that. This one's just a bit, probably I'd say easier to spread actually, but it feels really nice. So now onto foundation. I am very worried that this isn't going to be the right color. So I'll just do a quick check just with my finger to... Uh, it's not too far off, but it's not like perfect it's a bit dark a little bit yellow still but I'll try it over the whole face and I'll see if I need to add any lightning product to it which brings us to our next one we got the sponge that we get to test out which is exciting I thought that it may be like the Juno sponge but it seems to kind of be a mixture between a regular beauty sponge as well as the Juno the good thing is it did easily blend into the neck area, so it doesn't show too obviously that it's not the right shade. The coverage, I'd say it's more sheer to medium, not so much full coverage. Maybe I'll try to layer it a bit more and see if I can build up the coverage a bit. So this is the whole face with one layer of the foundation. Uh, the sponge is pretty good. It doesn't seem to soak up too much of the product, which is nice. Um, so I do think I will need a second layer for sure. Okay, so a second layer definitely did help to give it a bit more coverage. So the next product I will be trying is the Kim Chi Chic Concealer in the Solid White, I think it was called. What is it? Yep, Solid White. So, oh, comes with a little brush on the end. I didn't expect that. Okay. Definitely white. I've been looking for a white concealer for a while. Um, well one that's in stock anyway. Oopsie, a bit too much there. So I definitely put way too much on, but that's okay because we'll get a good coverage or good idea of how it works. So I will use a smaller sponge for this one just to get in there a bit easier. So. It's definitely got some really good coverage to it. 
Um, I'm liking it so far. I'll have to see how it sets with powder. So I'm just going to set the entire face with my Jeffree Star um, powder in the colour Fair. Uh, just to pop a little bit of colour into the foundation and the concealer. And because I know this powder usually works with every other thing that I use, then I think it'll be a pretty fair comparison, I think. So next I'm going to pop on the Lip Plumper to give it a bit of time to start to work. And then after that I will pop on some brows off camera just because I haven't got any new brow products. I'm just going to throw them on like that. It smells like... I know that smell. I feel like it smells like a candy I had as a child and I don't know what it is. Something citrusy? Oh my god. I love it though. That that smell is amazing. Now it feels... It doesn't feel sticky. It's very... Silky kind of feeling. I really... This is a really nice gloss. <laughs> it feels really nice. I don't know if it's going to plump or not. But like... It feels good. So next I'll be popping on my P. Louise eyeshadow base so that we can go in with the next product which will be the eyeshadow palette by Kim Chi Chic. So I'm just going to start on this eye and do this one first uh, just to minimize any creasing from the base itself so the eyeshadows stay as they should. Time to open this one up. Huh. They're a lot smaller than I expected. They're just... Let's see. So the palettes themselves are quite small, but I don't mind that so much, just because I tend to very slowly use my palettes as it is, so I'm happy with that. I'd like to start out with the cherry shade, I think. So we'll start with that one. Pigment on the brush came up really well. So the red colour went on super nice. Um, I think I'll top the top of it with the strawberry shade just to blend it out a little bit and I might mix and match the cherry and the strawberry. Okay, so cherry and strawberry look nice together. I'm just going like, to... Like, I'm, I'm digging those two shades. Like, they look cute as heck. So what will I do now? What will I do now? I think I'm going to put more of the cherry just to the halfway mark there. And then follow it up with the grape jelly shade just in the corner here. And then a bit of the sky blue on the bottom to give it a bit of a color pop. But where we're going to put the grape jelly shade, I'm just going to pop some more eyeshadow base in the corner so that it can be a bit more vibrant and stand out a bit more. So with the purple, it did take a second to stick. However, I do generally expect that from a purple because purples, they're usually quite difficult to work with as it is. But the end result of the purple is actually really, really pretty. It's not neon, but it is... A very nice shade and I appreciate that <laughs> who doesn't appreciate a nice shade right so the last shade that we'll use will be the sky blue shade and that one's just going to go underneath okay so it does initially go on very soft but after a couple layers you can build up in the intensity with it um, but it's still more of a soft pastel -y kind of blue not too pastel though um, and it's cute. I like it. Did I expect it to be a bit more bright? Yes. But I'm happy with the result of it, actually. So. Now I am just going to cut the end of this one to be sharp, just because I prefer that kind of look myself, and it really helps an eyeliner tie together as well for me, personally. Okay, so I just went ahead and finished the rest of the makeup off. Um, 
So let's discuss how I feel about them all. So we'll start with the primer. So held up well, um, felt nice, smelt nice. Overall, like it went well and I will definitely be using it in the future. The second one we had was the foundation. Um, see, I like it. However, I do wish that they'd add more shades uh, as the lightest one just wasn't light enough. <laughs> that may just be because I'm very pale and that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, it was a little bit more of a sheer coverage than I expected, but it was buildable, so fine with that. Next we had the concealer. I'm very happy with this one. I think that it worked very well. It had great coverage. It hasn't creased. Uh, the color is great. Um, overall, fantastic. We'll definitely be getting a lot more of these. The plumper. I love the feel of it. Um, it smells amazing. As to if it actually did any plumping, I can't tell. Um, I think only maybe a little bit, but there's no feeling to it, no tingling or anything like that. Um, I can't. I just can't tell if it actually plumped anything for me personally. But I think that it's a really nice gloss, definitely. The sponge didn't soak up too much of the product. Worked nicely. Yeah, it's a sponge. I like it. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Uh, and lastly, the palette itself. So, the colours are pigmented. They work amazingly. Um, I have no fault in them. They, they worked great. They blended well. They didn't leave any streaking or anything like that. Um, they are a bit smaller than I expected, but... Again, I don't mind, like, it was a decently priced uh, palette, and I kind of want to get my hand on a lot more of them, and overall, like, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Uh, yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, do what you will with that information. <laughs> I don't have anything more that you want to subscribe. You can subscribe if you don't want to subscribe, then no problems there. Um, see y'all next time, and God knows when I'll post another video, but at least we had some fun today. Well, I had fun. I don't know if you had fun.